I still aboard Megan's ship? It feels odd. What is this place? Where am I? I can feel something moving closer. Watching. Empress Emily Caldwin. I am a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a man in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But someone yanked the rug from under your feet. You've lost your throne and your father. And I promise, Delilah won't just give them back. So, what are you prepared to do about it? Your Imperial Majesty? And are you clever enough to do it without spilling a river of blood? I asked Corvo those questions 15 years ago. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn. It burns from the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of something. All the stories, they're true. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. What is that? It feels... Familiar. I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence. With you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand. And I will guide you when I can. from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes fun and sick offense of those around her, all of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize.
When I was 10 years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is stranger than I ever imagined. Everything I know has been turned on its head, but I'm dealing with it the best I can. When you look at the great jeweled map at Dunwall Tower, Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. A fat, red ruby. That's how I always thought of it. Up close, the city smells like the ocean and strange spices. Up close, it's a tangled story of blood and ambition. The birthplace of my father. Megan Foster is a stranger, but there's something that makes me want to trust her, despite her guarded disposition. She got me out of Dunwall, and I need answers. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the crown killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back.
must be cursed. Daft old man, this is some shit. Back to that city. What would we have done in the old days? All sharp metal and shadows, we'd say. You're up. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. Duke's probably not back from Dunwall yet. If we're lucky, the Howler... We've been en route for two weeks. I hope Sokolov is all right. Wherever he is. Karnaka looks pretty from a distance, but it's a city on the way down. And the blood flies are bad this year. Why is this here? It's Delilah. Anton started it just before he was taken. They've got history, but he wouldn't say more. Dearest Emily, or must I say, your Imperial Majesty, I have something that you and Corvo must hear at the first opportunity. It concerns the murders happening across the Empire, committed by this so-called Crown Killer. When I left Crystal years ago, I swore I'd never again take part in any further political matters. I've done my share of bad things, and some good, before and after the Rat Plague. But here in Karnaka, I've uncovered a terrible conspiracy against you. Here, at the bottom of the Empire, the cobblestones smell of death and corruption. I'm staying with an associate, Megan Foster, aboard her vessel, the Dreadful Whale. We'll leave for Dunwall in the morning, as soon as the tides are willing. I keep thinking of the way sweet Jessamine was stolen from you and your father, and I fear it might be your turn to face such turmoil. I know Corvo would protect you with his life, but please do not trust anyone. There you are, old man. I was asked to pay you a visit. Wait, what's wrong with you? Megan! <sighs> Off we go, Sokolov, to somewhere more private. I'll always miss my lessons with Anton Sokolov. He made so many clever devices during my mother's time. Always tinkering, painting, or living life with gusto. That's Sokolov. It looks like the overland route to the Adermeyer Institute goes through the carriage station. Sokolov seems so much older now. So, the crown killer was a tool of the Duke's coup. The murders had a calculated effect. Mortimer Ramsay. The Duke couldn't have pulled off the coup without someone inside the City Watch. I don't know Duke Luca Abel. But Corvo served under Luca's father, and said Theodanus was a good man. Delilah. My aunt, if that's really true. She has a twisted way of looking at the world. All right. You've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka. But he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There were reports about tensions rising. Corruption. Street violence. I... didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. <sighs> the new Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set out for Dunwall, but something happened. 
The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch rip open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer. All right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. This Dr. Hypatia... She seems to represent the good that's possible within the Empire. There are a few black market shops scattered across the city. Brisk trades in bullets and knives these days. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. 